Good morning. It's morning coffee chat. Um, this is my fourth time trying to do this because my cats have decided that right this very second they're going to act like maniacs. <laughs> um, how are you? <laughs> it's always right when I turn on the camera. I'm not doing this one over again. Um, <laughs> uh, I typically go live when I do these, but it's Tuesday and 6.30 in the morning and I wasn't sure who would be awake and here he goes again. I give up. I'm not redoing this again. <laughs> uh, so if you heard stuff in the background, that is my crazy cats. Um, so this morning I have French vanilla coffee with French vanilla creamer. Very boring, but very good. Um, so... Uh, I have 16 hour shifts on Sunday and when I came home, I slept all day long, uh, which typically I try not to do. I usually set an alarm and for four hours I hit snooze, uh, or five hours or probably I got up, I ate dinner, then I went back to bed. <laughs> so, uh, I literally slept three, four hours and now I'm awake. Uh, so I thought I would come on and say hi and see what's been, you know, going on with you guys and tell you what's been going on with me. Um, you know, have a little coffee. Yeah. So, my hours at work are going to be changing again. <laughs> um, a year ago, it's been a little over a year. A year and three, four months. Um, everybody talked me into leaving the home that I had worked at for 17 years and take regular day hours um, like a regular person. And, you know, I tried it for a year. Um, it is not for me. <laughs> I'm going back to overnights. Uh, I, mm -mm. my body says no. <laughs> I tried it. Uh, I did, I didn't like it. Um, so I'm going back to overnights. Um, this time it'll be a little different. Before I was, um, working 40 hours in three days. I'm still going to do that, but there, it was like back to back to back. Um, this time they'll be spread out a little bit. Um, so my body will have time to sort of recuperate. Um, so anyway, I'm going back, going back to overnights. Um, recently I stopped taking a medication that, um, I took for my back. I wanted to see how, if it was really working, um, because I was still in a large amount of pain. I stopped it for two weeks. It's been the worst two weeks that I've ever had. So I'm back on it again. Um, it sucks because it's really not a very good medication, like side effect wise. Um, but I've been on it for a really long time and, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't have a, a quality of life at all. Uh, I literally could do one thing a day and that was either work or, you know, um, clean my house and, uh, couldn't do both in one day. Um, I slept a lot. I was in a large amount of pain. Um, I just, I haven't been good. I haven't been good for a while. Um, but the last two weeks have been absolutely horrible. So I'm back on the medication and I'm changing my hours. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to that. I really am. Um, there's just a lot of things that I really liked about doing overnights at my job um, that I just really want to go back to. So anyway, um, I'm still only going to be able to work one job. I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, I, I just, I think I, I'm just about done. I do. Uh, I think I've just worked myself into the ground. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have a lot of spinal issues. I have, um, spondylolisthesis. I have early degenerative disc disease and I have seven herniated discs in my back. Um, along with a ton of arthritis. I have rheumatoid arthritis in my right foot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> um, I am trying to do some things to have back surgery. Um, you know, it's not, uh, going to be you know, it's going to, it's going to be, but it's going to be a little bit. Um, so anyway, um, that's the scoop, but I will be able to make more videos and do some lives and stuff. I'll have, you know, I'll just be 
in better spirits. I'll be, I'll have more time. I won't be in as much pain. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, so I've been doing a little painting. I had stopped, uh, cause I, uh, if you guys saw my last video, I redid my Blythe and now I'm back to painting again. Um, so I will show you that, um, you know, and, and, uh, I, I went and straightened up my desk a little bit. I made a big mess cause I made my grandma a card just a hey thinking about you card and I uh, made a big mess over there so I was cleaning and I was like you know I'll uh, I'll show you guys what I've done with the clown so far um, and you know just just update you guys um, yeah so let's go over there and I'll show you guys what I've been doing all right we're back at uh, my desk and thought I'd just show you guys uh, I've been working on the clown um, I had had it up here <laughs> and uh, have just been working on tons of layers of white. And then I stopped, I got the Blythe, I redid it. Now I'm back again to doing the clown. Um, now is like the fun part, which I love, uh, which is all the details and that sort of thing. So um, currently I have been just doing some creases. This is not going to be a happy clown. <laughs> this is going to be um, an evil clown. Um, but I've just been doing some of the creasing, showing some of the cool details on this kit. This is Topsy. I think this is Topsy. Um, but I've just been doing some darker creases. Um, You see the difference in the shoes compared to the leg. Uh, just been tons and tons of layers of white. <laughs> but anyway, just been again showing, um, just low lighting some of the details on this clown. The shoes on this clown are so cool. They're so cool. Anyway, so there's the legs. And. I will show you the face. So this is the face so far. Um, I did some shading around and in the ears and a little bit here, um, sort of around the chin. But this is what I have so far. I do not have anything planned. I am totally winging this. Uh, I have tried so many times to draw what I'm thinking in my head and I just can't get it out. So I'm just winging it. <laughs> but this is what I have so far. Um, I am going to be sculpting some teeth and a few other things, but um, this is what I have so far. So um, he's coming along. I have to do a bake and um, then going to work on the mouth some more. Um, I want it to be really, really dark. So um, I'm trying to hide some of the outlining uh, that's in the mouth. So I want it to be super, super dark. I know it looks super dark, but when you look at it right here, uh, it needs several layers. <laughs> so anyway, I've been working on that. Um, this is my first time working with uh, Genesis Heat Set Mars Black. Uh, I've never worked with it before. So I just was doing, this is a extra um, little pig foot um, from my, um, from the Bountiful Baby Little Pig kits. Um, I have some extra limbs for some reason. So I was, um, messing with different ways to do the black, whether I, um, use a sponge or, um, paint it on and then, um, dab it and a few other things. So I have this weird, gross looking pig foot on my, yeah. But anyway, um, I also did this cause Oreo, my, one of my pigs, uh, I'm going to paint him black, so I was also testing to see what it would be like to paint on this. So I have this weird looking thing going on. Um, anyway, um, I am already looking for my next Blythe. Um, the next one I really want to do some type of like fairy or uh, I'm really wanting to, to do some like a fairy or elf or something like that. So I'm looking for my next one now. 
Uh, but until then, I'm gonna work on my clown. I have enough matte varnish. Uh, Genesis heats up my matte varnish, the old version. Um, I've been squirreling. <laughs> uh, I have enough and I have, I have, well, I have matte varnish, uh, the old recipe <laughs> and the satin varnish, old recipe. Um, I have enough, I think, to do like maybe one other kit along with the clown. Uh, and then I am, I'm out and I'm going to switch to the Irresistibles uh, matte varnish that they have. I saw a couple really good reviews. Um, several people are saying that they like it a lot. So then I'm going to move to that. Um, I also have a full thing of glazing gel, which I've never used. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me uh, as far as Genesis matte heat set uh, paint. So um, I did do a couple pacifiers. Um, I don't remember if I showed you guys, but I did um, some pearling and stuff on a few of these. It's this one here. I love how that one turned out with the tan pearls. And I did actually did this one for Valentine's Day and didn't end up uh, using it. But uh, yeah, I did a few of those and um, that's really good about it. Um, the Blythe uh, took a little bit because I did so many different things. Uh, and then I made the bean bag and all that jazz. As you can see, my, uh, my, my big monster high girl is still here. Uh, I haven't started on her yet. Eventually she'll be redone as well. Um, at some point. <laughs> I need to get a stand for her. Um, so, you know, I just work on little things at a time. Uh, this is a photo prop that I have been working on forever. It finally got finished. And um, uh, I'll have to show this to you guys uh, when I have a baby or something. But this was a whole lot of fun to make. Uh, I worked on some of it when I was at work and stuff, uh, but this was a whole lot of fun. So I'll have to show you guys um, what this, how this works. But I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, you know what? I think I can do that <laughs> instead of, I think I saw it and I, I think I've seen where you could buy it. And I'm like, you know, I think I can do that. But um, yeah, it's just a photo prop that I worked on that I got done. Um, and that's really been about it. Um, like I said, um, body wise, um, I've, I've just not been good. Um, I've had a lot of shoulder pain. That's a new thing that's going on now is um, shoulder pain. So that's kept me from doing a lot of things as well. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be back to doing things. And, uh, you know, um, I miss hanging out with you guys on lives and talking. And um, I have thought about bringing back uh, the news. Um, it's just sort of tossing that in around at this point. Um, for those of you that don't know, I used to do um, a segment called Reborn Community News. Uh, I, they're up on my channel. If you want to scroll down, you can find those. I really enjoyed doing it. I let some people bully me out of doing it and I'm thinking about bringing it back. Um, it may not be exactly the way it was. It may not um, be called that, but it would be a form of that. Um, I'm still working on some details, but I may end up bringing it back because uh, I did have a lot of fun doing that. Um, and uh, uh, now that things have calmed down for me or will be calming down for me, um, it's something that I would have time to do, uh, especially since now I can't work all the jobs anymore. Um, it, it makes it a little bit easier. I think when I did it before, it was incredibly stressful. Uh, I had three jobs and um, I, yeah, it was, it was a lot for me to do. Um, but now I can't, I can't work like that anymore. I'm majorly broken <laughs> and literally. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, I will, once I figure out more about that, uh, I will, you know, kind of keep you guys informed as far as what I'm going to do with that. Um, that's really all I got right now. Um, yeah, it's really about it. Um, I will let you guys go. I'm going to finish my coffee 
and start getting myself ready for my job. Uh, luckily, it's a short day, so <laughs> it's, it's a short day for me. Um, that's a good thing. So anyway, you guys take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye.